Guys, welcome back after our advert break. Let me quick wrap up today's lesson. So I've indicated that the focus of today's lesson is on instruction and assembly diagrams. Okay, so what is important? What can we take from today's lesson? I've indicated here that the phrase instructions for assembling refers to text, right? Often brief sentences that specifies how to put something together. Right, that's basically what we've looked at in today's lesson by using sentences, text, pictures that describe, that tells us how to put something together. And then also, assembly diagrams are labeled annotated images that shows step-by-step -step instructions on how to put something together. So we have our instructions for assembling and then we have our assembly diagrams which is labeled annotated images that show step-by-step -step instructions on how to put something together. Now, guys, there's a few things that I want you to always consider when you deal with instruction and assembly diagrams. In fact, when we deal with our subject in general. So first up, I've indicated here that familiarize yourself with the diagram or the picture as well as the given context before you attempt the question. I'm sure you've noticed that before I've answered, attempted the questions, I've looked at what was presented to me first, trying to make sense of the diagram, the picture, and the context. Then, read the question or the instruction with due diligence, meaning make sure that you understand exactly what your question is all about before you start to answer that specific question. Then, express yourself verbally. Guys, that's very important. That's why our subject is called mathematical literacy. This is where the literacy part comes in. You must be able to express yourself verbally, meaning in words, right? And use the appropriate, appropriate terminology, right? The appropriate word that goes with our subject. And then I've indicated here, ensure that you work with the correct conversion factor. You've seen when we work with the lamp shape, we lamp stand, we started with the height of the lamp stand on the picture but we then wanted you to determine, to calculate the actual height of the lens, the meaning the length of it or the height of it in real life. Okay, so those are the things I would like you to focus on when tackling these type of questions. Now guys, just before I end off our lesson, let me leave you with something, some homework for this upcoming week, if I can put it that way. So I've indicated here, study the images showing how to insert a cell phone SIM card and battery and write a description of each step based on the images. Remember I said you must be able to express yourself verbally and that's the part I'm going to test now. Let me read the question out again. It says study the images, right, showing how to insert a cell phone SIM card and a battery and write a description of each step based on the images. As you can see there we have four steps in our diagram and you must explain exactly what needs to happen at every single step. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. I hope to see you next time. And remember, work every day, stay safe. Goodbye.